nieces and nephews welcome back to auntie nell's kitchen and to my new subscribers welcome 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 first i want to thank all of you for your love and support to my channel i really appreciate it today we are going to be making auntie's strawberry crunch cheesecake okay what that is is two strawberry layer cakes with a cheesecake in between with some more goodness um added to it that's why I call it, it's my version of the strawberry crunch cheesecake. So if you give auntie a moment, we're going to do a flip and a swip and we're going to get started. So I can show you everything that you need so you can make all this goodness at home. Okay, hold on. Okay, first we are going to need one box of used Duncan Hines. This, this recipe definitely used Duncan Hines. I, only recipe that only cake mix that i would use outside of duncan hines would be uh the um i don't even know what it was mm, whatever and that's when i make whatever when i made the uh banana pudding that brand but uh anything else if i use a cake mix it's always duncan hines but anyway duncan hines the perfectly more strawberry supreme one box of that throw that over there a little housekeeping one box of the three ounce box of strawberry jello five room temperature large eggs three fourth cup of water one and one third cup of vegetable oil follow the process follow the process okay i'm going to add my we're working on the cake batter first family okay we're going to add our jello i'm going to add my oil over there, a little housekeeping. Gonna go ahead and add my H2O water. I failed chemistry. Only thing I learned with H2O. And I'm gonna go ahead and add these eggs. And you get my strawberry extract. And someone had asked me about the extracts I use. Native vanilla. They're not in the store. You have to order them. You can order them directly from Native Vanilla. Or you can get them on Amazon. Um, but I'm telling you, you if you like me, you you may go crazy and you're going to want every flavor. Because these are, you talking about gourmet? They're gourmet. All right. So let me get my teaspoon and get me so I can add my uh, strawberry extract in here. And I'll be right back. Okay, this, I blended this, the, I went on and blended this for like seven minutes. Whoa, okay. Okay, we have mishaps, cause this cake is for my thing. Okay, you guys know I always do this to make sure my layers are even. I use a measuring cup, cause you do this to make sure you have even layers, family. So I'm gonna pour this, oh, these are my cake pans, nine inch. So I'm going to throw that first cup in there and I'll be using a spatula to get all that goodness out. Get all that goodness out of there and off and around it. Yum, 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 yum. Woohoo! Put that over there. Now I will take this and bring my other contestant number two over here. Scoop out another good helping of that. And scoop all that goodness out. And I'm not worried about these cake layers being super high because there's going to be a cheesecake in between there and some other goodness in between my layers. So, now if you're not going to have any of the goodness I'm going to add in here, you may want to use, um, you may want to double your recipe if you're going to be using three inch deep pans, or if you're going to be using two eight inch pans with, that are two inches deep, okay? So, I'm not going to be using this anymore, this cup. I'm going to downsize to a smaller cup. Probably a three-fourth cup. 
No, not that one. I'm gonna go down to a two third. Yep, two third is perfect. Throw that into contestant number one. Trust the process. Trust the process. I've been baking this cake for years. Going to get these air bubbles out of here. Bangy, bangy, bangy. I'm going to put this in the oven. It's already on 350, and I'm going to bake this for 30 minutes to start. And if I need, to, when I do a tester and it comes out clean, we're good to go. If it comes out not clean, I'll put it on another three to five minutes. So my timer is on uh, 30 minutes. So I'm going to pop this in the oven, and while this bakes, we're going to start on our our strawberry filling okay okay we're gonna cut some strawberries up now I'm not gonna use all these strawberries no I'm not um, you're gonna cut your, get your strawberries and you're gonna cut them up in pieces like this just gonna dice them up you don't want them in chunks you're gonna just cut them down and just dice them like that And so I'm going to, I've already cut the tops off. And I'm going to just cut these strawberries up. Not all of these. Now I'm not going to be using all of these. And once I cut these strawberries up, I will, we will go over what we will need next, okay? Okay, we have one half cup of water. And I'm taking one half cup of strawberry preserves. Gonna get that added in there. And I'm, it's gonna be two cups of strawberries. As soon as I find my spoon again. So I'm gonna just let that, I don't know why. I wasn't supposed to put those in there get run in my mouth. Those go last. Because if you put them in now, they'll cook. And you don't want them cooked. So we're going to get this all melted together. And add one fourth cup of sugar. So let this get melted down and we'll be back together again. Okay, we've got our strawberry preserves and the water all melted down. So we're going to add a little thickener to it. So I add my thickener a tablespoon at a time. Well, sometimes two. And I see where I am. Let's see if I have my desired thickness. Throw that out of there. Okay, this is good enough. Because as it cools, it's going to thicken more. And now I'm going to add this, these strawberries in here. And I'm going to leave this alone, set this to the side so it can completely cool. Do not cook your strawberries. Add your strawberries in last. Do not cook them. Remove it from the heat. That's it. That's why I I do not just pour my cornstarch uh, thickener in. I add it a little at a time. 
And so that's it. I see a little piece of undeveloped. Throw that over there. Little housekeeping. Okay. And I'm going to leave this, sit this to the side because as it cools, it's just going to thicken more. And so let's get started on our frosting. Okay. Cakes are out. And when you're testing your cake for that clean toothpick, do it in several spots. You know, don't just do it this one spot and then look at it. No, you do it in several spots. I have a cake test uh, the clean thing, but two pits work just fine. I only bought it because it was uh, half price at Hobby Lobby. It was like 75 cents or something. So I don't even never use it. I have a hundred two pits. So I'm going to move these over the, out the way, get them cooled off. Now we can start on our frosting. Okay, let's get started on our frosting. We have, whoa, three blocks, three eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. I'm going to cream that together first, okay? So once this gets creamed up, I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to start off with two cups of powdered sugar. No, I have not added my uh, strawberry flavor in yet. I'm going to start off, get this sugar blended in first. Same rule apply. If it's on the side of the bowl, it ain't what? It ain't mixing. and add my other two cups and this is where i am after four cups of, of sugar but um this is three blocks of cream cheese so i'm going to add two more and i'm going to scrape that from the side guys this is a two cup measuring cup this is a it, it measures two cups so that's why i you know when you hear me say two cups i'm using this one So this is a total of six cups of powdered sugar. Because I do want it, I do want it thicker because I'm going to pipe this um, and I'm, I'm going to pipe this and I need it thicker. So I'm going to have to thicken it up with some powdered sugar. You thin it out with a um, little milk or half and half. Or and you thicken it up with sugar, okay? Okay, well, let's get our strawberry flavor, our cream cheese frosting with some strawberry accent, I mean, extract. I'm going to flavor this with the clear vanilla extract because uh, the strawberry extract Extra is going to dye this pink, and I don't want it pink because I'm going to be doing the strawberry crunch, which is pink. So I don't want this pink because I'm going to, you'll see, be doing my borders pink. Okay, now we are going to make the strawberry for my borders. Now, May shock you what I'm going to do. May shock some of you, may shock none of you. But let oh, forgot my it's straight. I'm gonna add a little strawberry Kool-Aid. Yep. Kool-Aid. Remember the Kool-Aid man? Yep. Add a little strawberry Kool-Aid in here.
Yep. Kool-Aid is used for more than drinking and dyeing hair. <laughs> yeah, but that's what they used to do back in the uh, late 80s. They used to use Kool-Aid to dye their hair burgundy. Oh, maroon. Now, to give it that oomph, extra strawberry natural flavor, I'm going to add a teaspoon of my extract. Mix that on up in this, baby. You can add as much as this Kool-Aid as you want. According to how pink you like it. And how intense you want that strawberry to be. And I'm going to get this into my piping bag. If I do a little tasty tasty. You always do a little tasty, tasty. Yep. Perfect. Now I'm going to get this into a piping bag. And we're good to go. All right. We're going to start assembling the cake. Now this cheesecake was baked last week. And this, it was frozen. This th th thawed out somewhat now. But this cake, this cheesecake has no uh, graham cracker crust. I baked it. I know I uploaded it to my channel because I had let you all know that what I was going to be using it for. That's why I had no crust. So I'm going to um, go ahead and start assembling the cake. First part of it, rather. So I'm going to get some icing down here. And it's not going to be a thick layer. Not a thick layer. Okay, anything about messing up that, this, this board here? It's okay. You know what? I need my um turntable. I always forget that. You guys can see I have another border down. And the reason why I have a border down because I'm going to take some of this strawberry topping. Mm, yum, yum. And I'm going to put it on here. You don't want to, not a whole lot now. You, you don't want to do that. But you want some of those strawberries. So now you just want to try to really protect your border. And if it runs down, that's okay. And I'm going to take my cheesecake ooh, and put it on top of here. I'm going to take another icing. And hey, don't beat yourself up about perfection. It's overrated. Just stress yourself out trying to make sure things are perfect.
And I'm going to take some more of this strawberries. Because everybody knows strawberries and cheesecake go together, right? And that's why you put the uh, icing, because it keeps the uh, strawberry. And then what I'm going to do, you see, to keep that, I'm going to take some icing and put it on the bottom of that layer, and I'll be right back. So this will go on here. And now I'm going to go get my cake dollies my dowels rather I need to wash my hands okay we're going to make our strawberry crunch now so we're going to take some vanilla wafers so this is all about four cups and one box of strawberry jello one three ounce box of strawberry jello and a half a cup of melted butter so let me get those items and when making your crunch do not you need to toss your cookies don't um oh those your vanilla wafers you need vanilla wafers they you need vanilla wafers okay now when you pulse because you don't want them uh like graham cracker crumbs you don't want them like graham cracker crumbs you want them like this see Look at that. That's what you want them like. We want to throw those in there. We're going to put some more. a whole cookie. I might as well just throw it on in there. Housekeeping. Okay. We got these over here. Throw this over here for a little, little housekeeping later. All right. Where's the bowl? You throw your bowl in here. Get your jello. And get your little whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Get that all uh, whiskey, whiskey in there. May need another box. Because this is four cups. That cake is so high. Let me get another box. Okay, I increased my butter to three fourths cups, and I'm going to pour this in here. Get this all mixed in together. making a mess that's why you got soap and water and bleach and I'm gonna add a little I'm gonna add that the rest of that little stick of butter to mine right back okay we're gonna start with the um, bottom first I mean the size first, rather. We're gonna start with our size first. I 
quality. Hands are getting tired. You know what? I think it's easier if I just put this in a bowl like this because my hands are getting a little tired. Tomorrow is my event, so I have other stuff I need to do. I don't have much to do. I was going to do a white chocolate mousse cake. And after doing this one, I changed my mind. There are five cakes that will be on that table. So, that's enough. Right? What y'all think? Come on, subs. Don't y'all think that's enough? Hmm. Don't you guys think that's, that's enough? I don't know why um, that Christmas song is in my head. All I want for Christmas. <laughs> that is, I can't get rid of it. I cannot get rid of that song. I guess because when I was in, I was sitting, doing some other stuff. Because I like, to, during this time of year, I like to bake. I mean, I like to, when I prepare my food, I like to do it to the tune of my Christmas music. I have another cream cheese icing in the freezer that I didn't use all of it. Okay, let's get our crunchy, crunchy. Now this is a mess. Okay, let's get our hands washed and cleaned again. 
I took it off that stand because I, I don't feel like food with all that. So you're just going to pack this on. And don't be afraid of it. Pack that crunch on. That's why you got to work with the clean hands, clean board. Everything needs to be clean. So I'm going to pack all my crunch on and I'll be back. I think okay I have my strawberries on top now and how I secured them is just like this I just put a toothpick in the bottom and that's all I did that's it and so I'm gonna put some glaze on here and then I'll do my border I'm gonna just put a little bit of glaze on eat the strawberries not a lot just some glaze um this is just plain old strawberry glaze this is Kroger brand. You don't have to microwave this. Don't, please don't microwave it. <laughs> please don't microwave this. And I'm going to glaze these and I'll be back. All right, nieces and nephews, here she is. This is Auntie's version of the strawberry crunch cake. This is how I make it when I make it, okay? And I don't make it often. I only make it for my a special event. That's it. I don't make this cake just to make it because it is it is a uh, time consuming. But if you don't want all this hoopla, you can leave out the all the decoration. Just make the cake and the cheesecake, okay? in the crunch all right here it is there she is <laughs> and so how i'm going to keep this all nice and pretty um she has to go in the fridge so i'm going to just uh saran wrap it keep its form okay all right thanks guys for hanging out and watching my video on auntie's version of the strawberry crunch cheesecake I hope you make this cake uh, for you, your family, and like I always say, keep it to yourself. Until the next upload, hugs and kisses to each of you. Love you guys. I will see you later. Bye.